friends, I'm Miss Maria, and I'm at the Mount Airy branch of Carroll County Public Library. And today I have with me a special guest. Can everyone say hello to my friend Allie the Alligator? Hi Allie, we're so glad that you're here today. Allie is joining me because today for our Story Plus Sensory Bin, our theme is going to be Swamp. Swamp, how fun! Friends, what do you think of when you hear the word swamp? Hmm, yeah, that's right. It's like a spongy wetland that has a lot of trees and it has either fresh water or salt water. And it's a really cool place that is home to a lot of beautiful animals like alligators, snakes, frogs, birds, insects, all kinds of things. I actually have a picture of a beautiful swamp. I got this from um, Nat Geo website for kids. Isn't that a beautiful picture? See the trees and the water. Do you think you would like to live in a swamp? Wow, maybe. Allie loves to live in a swamp. And very quickly, did you know that the, there are just a couple of differences between alligators and crocodiles? Because when I ordered Allie, I wasn't quite sure what are the differences between alligators and crocodiles. Well, I learned that alligators like Allie, their snout is in the shape of a U. Can you make a U? Good, but a crocodile, their snout is in the shape of a V. Yes, so Allie has more of a U, but her crocodile friends would have a V. Very cool friends, that's just one difference. But let's get moving. Let's grab a book called Swamp Song which I love, and it's called Swamp Song because a lot of the animals that we just mentioned that live in the swamp, they make their noises and their songs, right? In the swamp. Wow, it would be beautiful to hear. So let's put Allie down and let's get ready to read Swamp Song by Helen Ketterman, and it's illustrated by Ponder Gumbel. We can't read the whole book, but I'd like to share with you some of my favorite pages. Down in the swamp where the cypress grows, old man gator starts tapping his toes with a tip, tap, tippity tap, tip, tap, tip. Can you tap your toes? Tip, tap, tip. That's an alligator, just like Allie. Tip, tap, tip. Good. Let's see what else we have. Another animal. River otter swims with a swish, splashing in the water and chasing with the fish with a splish, splash, splishy, splash, splish. Can you go splish, splash? Splish, splash. Miss Erin loves otters. Yay, otters are wonderful animals. Good job, friends. What else do we have? What else do we have? This is a fun one. Bullfrog hops on a lily pad, blowing his throat, singing, I'm so bad, with a crick, croak, crickety, croak, crick, croak, croak. Can you put your hand on your throat? Look at Bullfrog's throat there. That looks like a big bubble. Yes, and put your hand on your throat and go crook, crook, croak, crook, crack. Can you feel, crook, crack, croak, can you feel your, your voice box moving there? Yeah, that's how you make a sound, crick, crack, croak, but just like our bullfrog. All right, friends, and one more. Oh my goodness, pygmy ratter, ra rattler slips through the sand, shaking his rattles in a beat with the band, with a biz, buzz, bizity, buzz, bzz, bzz, bzz. Now I know that most of us say that snakes make a sound, like s Rattlesnake. Yeah, so a rattlesnake might sound like that. Very good, friends. So I think a swamp would have beautiful music from the animals. All right, friends. So speaking of music and fun so songs, I have a song about a snake that I'd like to teach you, and it's super fun. And grown-ups, I guarantee this song will be stuck in your head, but it's delightful. And it goes like this. Went the slippery snake one day. Went the slippery snake. Went the slippery snake one day. And they all went. But we know that snakes go. Shooby dooby doo. Shooby dooby doo. Shooby dooby doo, we know snakes go. Shooby dooby doo, they don't go. 
Isn't that silly? I love that. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Do you remember how it started? How it started? Good. Went the slippery snake one day. Went the slippery snake. Went the slippery snake one day. And they all went. But we know snakes go shooby dooby doo, shooby dooby doo, shooby dooby doo. We know snakes go shooby dooby doo. They don't go. Yay! Good job, friends. I hope you enjoy that song as much as I do. All right, and lastly, our sensory bin. If you have been joining my story and sensory bin programs for the past several months, you know that I do one book, one song, and then I feature a sensory bin to go along with that day's theme. Sensory bins are super important, super important in a super fun way for kids to learn because kids learn by playing and exploring. And a sensory bin is a great way to do both because a sensory bin involves things that are not only fun to look at, but they're fun to feel, and they might sound a certain way, they might smell a certain way. So when the kiddo is exploring in a sensory bin, there's all kinds of brainwave activity going on together, which that is a great way to learn. So to make your very own swamp sensory bin at home, all you need is a Rubbermaid container, and I just ran some warm water with a little bit of dirt and mulch from outside to make kind of a mud bottom. You can do that, or if you don't want to go that far, you can just use plain warm water. And kids love to play in the water. Water sensor, water themed sensory bins are great, especially in the summer, because you can just as easily take this outside. I also grabbed some leaves, a couple big sticks, and I decided to make in some rocks, and I decided to make this a dinosaur sensory bin. I got the idea on, on the internet but I have a couple plastic dinosaurs in here and they are just playing away. So you could use any animals, you could use any type of toy. It's fun to look and see what you have at home and then figure out how, a cool way to incorporate that into a sensory bin. But anyway, um, one thing I love about sensory bins is there is no like finite or goal ending. It is completely open-ended so your kiddo can sit and play and use the imagination for as long as the kiddo likes. So if you can, I can feel how this feels really cool. I can hear the leaves. I have the dinosaurs here that I can pretend to feed the dinosaurs, but I love the way this looks and feels. I'm not sure how much you can hear, but it makes really cool sounds. And kids love to splash around in the water and they love to splash toys around in the water. So I would love to hear your ideas on your swamp sensory bin for today. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to keep playing in my swamp. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.